This is Anna Marie Stell, and I'm going to share with you a bleaching technique that you can use on a, a wide variety of projects. I'm going to use this technique on my Christmas cards, so I thought I'd share it with you. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a line image stamp um, using a dove for my Christmas cards, and I'm stamping it in Stampin' Up's Night of Navy Craft Ink, and I'm going to stamp that right on this piece of green galore cardstock. And then I'm going to use some clear embossing powder and sprinkle that right on that image. Tap off the excess. And then I'm going to use my heat tool. And this is going to get loud here for a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to heat set that. making sure that the image is raised in all areas, that I got the whole area covered. And then I'm just going to give it a second here to cool down a minute. And then I'm going to take some regular household bleach that I've poured into a separate container and I have a, a paintbrush that I have designated for my bleaching projects. I just put a little piece of red ribbon around that there so I always know that this is my brush that I use only for bleach. And I dip that right in the household bleach there once this is nice and cooled down. And then I'm going to just use the bleach um, and I'm going to paint it right into the body of the dove. Just filling in all of those areas. And the reason why you want to use a line image stamp with this technique is when you emboss, the embossing creates a barrier so the bleach won't go outside the lines. It'll stay right inside that dove. And then as it sits there, it bleaches out the color of the cardstock to white. Now, you can try this on different color card stocks. Some card stocks do not bleach out to a, like a pure white. Sometimes they just kind of get yellowish. Um, different card stocks react differently, so um, you'll want to test it out to see what kind of uh, effect that you get. So... You just fill that in, and then you just set it aside to dry, and that doesn't really take long either. And once you're all set, once it's all dried, then you can use it on your project. You can see here I used it on my Christmas card, and there are the kids there. And the reason why, you might think that these um, cards, the, the colors that I chose are not uh, typical Christmas colors, I chose them because if you can see in the photo, they match the kids' scarves. I found scarves that were kind of green galore and navy color, so that's why I used this, um, these two colors together. And when you match the photo to your cardstock, obviously, then it just makes it look better. So um, here's another sample. This was the original sample I did when I was trying this out to see what I wanted to do for my Christmas cards, I used brocade blue and um, chocolate chip and did the same thing. Um, but then, like I said, I switched the colors to match the kids' scarf. So you can see how it looks on another color card stock here. And um, you can ex certainly experiment on your own with other line image stamps and different colors. So I hope you have fun with that technique. Enjoy.